So now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get that signature Pyrex bounce. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to... F Welcome back, fellow producers. Pyrex Whippa, one of the slightly newer members of 808 Mafia, has definitely taken off since the beginning of his career. And has definitely built his own name and built his own sound for himself. And when you guys hear the words Pyrex Whippa type beat, like... What comes to your mind? Because I'm pretty sure it's like kind of similar amongst all producers. Like definitely kind of like those dark evil vibes with like the slower bounce, like maybe some 808 rolls in there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make those dark orchestral melodies that Pyrex Whipple uses a lot. And also how to get that signature drum bounce that he uses with the 808 rolls and the hi-hat rolls. And a lot of it comes down to those triplets and those one third beats, which I'm going to be talking about later in the video. But anyways, without further ado, let's get into it. What is up, y'all? We are in FL Studio here. And guess what? <laughs> If you see here, we have all these plugins and melodies over here, and um, you might be wondering why. It's because I recorded the video making all these melodies, and then I went to OBS Studio over here, this little app here that helps me record my screen, and I, I found out that it actually wasn't recording. I just love it when that happens. <laughs> So instead of redoing all the melodies over again, because I'm not going to remember how to do this over again, and this actually came out really well, I'm just going to be going over the process of what I did to make these melodies. And I think this time I'm going to explain more in depth of what I did, so that, that should help you guys out a little bit more. So the first melody that I started off with was this sound. One thing that I really wanted to go for was like that dark evil vibe, especially for the first melody, because one of the most important things is getting down a melody that's going to set the tone for the rest of the beat. So I really wanted to make sure that I nailed this part. And I have my tempo set really low, so if we go with the tempo, it's pretty bouncy along with the tempo, so that's exactly what I wanted. The next sound that I went to was this other Electro X sound. This is like more of like a pluck sound. And what I did is I went to the one third beat over here, and I did the, like these little chord rolls i i don't know what the hell to call them <laughs> and then after that what i did was i added these top soprano notes I think the pattern is dun, 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 dun. but in total this is what we have for the first two melodies i'll just preview this for you guys One thing that I really want to do, especially with this beat, was I wanted to half time it with gross beat. So what I did was I routed both of those to channel one and then I got gross beat over here and I went to the half speed. But anyways, this is what I got here. So once I figured out that I had that dark and evil vibe, which was exactly what I was looking for, then I knew that I could start to move on to my other melodies. I feel like we needed something that's a little bit more full, that's gonna add a little bit more bounce. So I, I went to addictive keys and I got these root notes right here. And if you hear that wobble and that kind of vintage sound, that's because I added RC20 to it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. I went to gross beat and I went to the flanging section and I went to wish wash and then I basically just put that one up and this one up. So this is what we have for this. But I thought that that was a perfect step in the right direction to getting what we wanted. So I decided to add two more instances of addictive keys. The second one was this kind of weird sound in addictive keys. I don't know what this preset is. It's like called strange fantasies or something. I thought that, that would match with the beat, so I did this. This is one of my favorite parts of the melodies here. I just added like this. Dun, 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 dun. So I'll just preview this for you guys. After that, I just had the idea to just screw all the melodies and then just go to bass pluck right here. I just pretty much followed the same root notes as the piano that we had here from these notes. And this added a lot more bounce to it as well, so I'm happy with how this came out. So once I hit that point, I knew that we had all of our main melodies down and now we can start to move on to like more of the secondary melodies. Well, not really the secondary melodies, but like just more of the embellishments to make the beat a lot better. 
So the first thing that I did was I opened up Contact and I went to this plugin that I have called Ethno World 6. And I got this sound right here. It just really had that ethnic orchestral sound, and I know that Pirate Swipa loves the orchestral beats and the orchestral melodies and all that, so I thought that that would match perfectly with this. And then I also found this sound in here. And in total, this is what we have when we add those two melodies. I love that. This instance in contact, I went to this flute. And then I got this really catchy flute pattern. Remember how I told you guys that I went to the third beat and I made a pattern with it? I also did the same thing with the flute, and those together helped to add a lot of bounce to the melody. I cloned contact, I went to Ethno World 6, and I went to one of the um, flute licks that they have, and I, I found this sound right here. So in total, this is what we have for all of our melodies. that's what I did for all of my melodies and now that we have those we can start to finally move on to the drums all right so the first thing that you want to do for the drums is you definitely want to go get a pirate whip a, a south side kit just like an 808 mafia kit of some sort so what I want to get is I want to get a rim a hi-hat of some sort and then an 808 just those three basic things <laughs> So now I'm going to get the 808 and pretty much get the 808. I'm going to copy and paste the Reese into there. So now I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get that signature Pyrex bounce. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to focus on your 808 pattern, or at least this is what I like to focus on first. Like, I'm just kind of like trying to like imagine like where I could put like 808 rolls, like. So you want to add like subtle 808 rolls, but you don't want to put them like so much. Like you don't want to have like just a crap ton of 808 rolls just everywhere. The best place to put your 808 rolls is going to be like right at the end here, right before the loop restarts. Throughout like the rest of the loop, like you don't want to just be overdoing it because you really have to keep in mind that if you want somebody to rap on this, like their voice needs to have room. So you can't have the 808 just overpowering everything. So like right now is where I'm going to start to add like a bunch of rolls. And remember, remember what I told you. Here's a big tip here. I have this melody on the one third step and I have the flute on the one third step as well. So a lot of that bounce is coming from that one third step. So I'm going to keep the 808s on the one third step as well to kind of add that bounce. Now we're going to start to move on to the hi-hat rolls because the hi-hat rolls are very important as well. And the same concept applies for the hi-hats. You don't want to like overdo the hi-hats with a shit ton of rolls everywhere. You just want to add like rolls in moderation. and the hi-hat they take up a lot of space for a drum so there's not like much that you need to add i'm pretty much just gonna add like maybe a snare and an open hat and then that's gonna be it oh that's 
perfect right there. Let's preview these. Just love it when your face cam dies right when you're recording your video but anyways y'all that's gonna wrap it up for this tutorial i hope that you guys learned something and hope that you guys enjoyed i know i say this for like every single beat that i make but this is by far one of the most favorite beats that i've ever made but yeah anyways y'all can listen to the full beat right now but that's it for me i'm out